Oh my god, it was so good. She looked so good. Oh, it's us. Oh yeah, man. I just got back from Chella. It was super rad. I saw Cardi B, Beyonce. Yo, it was lit. Yeah, I didn't actually go to Chella. Nope. Um, but I was, however, in Paris. I was in Paris. It was so cute. I've been in Paris for the last week. That's why I haven't been posting any videos. And I'm so sorry. This week's about to be lit. I'm gonna get on the video wagon again. That wagon. That darn wagon. I'm gonna wear these sunglasses the entire video because I'm super jet lagged and I look terrible. So I don't think you guys really wanna see me without them. It's honestly a little scary. My eyes are completely red and bloodshot. I don't have any eye drops, so we're gonna wear them the entire video. <laughs> so you guys, as you saw from the title, I'm gonna be reacting to some interesting Coachella hair. Um, you know, the good and possibly the bad. We're gonna go through all of it. I'm gonna search Instagram for some Coachella hair and we're gonna check it out. I've seen some pretty rad stuff already. All right guys, so let's check out Instagram and find some rad Coachella hair. Let's get it started. Okay, let's check it out. So first off, we had to do Kylie Jenner. Come on, girl. Kylie Jenner, Coachella queen. Hey, what's up, Kylie? <laughs> so this hair was everything I've ever wanted in my lifetime. Girl, oh my God, it was so good. She looked so good. Giving me baby mama vibes, serving her looks. That waist is snatched still. I'm froze at this look. Literally froze. She just looks good with everything because she's so hot. Like, I would definitely date her. Her waist is snatched. Those TTs are looking voluptuous. Is it just me? I mean, whoa, girl. What amazing color. I love the fuchsia pink. <sighs> her baby is going to be so chic. I can't wait. And then let's just do one other Kylie Jenner real quick. Another look of Kylie, the denim blue. Oh! <gasps> Yes! Just so much, yes! <laughs> She's looking so good. My Kylie is back, I missed her so much. Like her whole pregnancy, I was like, where is my Kylie girl? I already lost my Lady Gaga, like she's just nowhere near as cool as she used to be. Sorry, Lady Gaga fans, you're probably gonna come after me, but like, it's, it's true, we all know it, okay? She's just not like the Gaga we used to know. She's just not that fun. Um, and Kylie serves me looks and Gaga doesn't anymore. So, sorry Gaga, but like, I'm on Kylie Jenner's side now. And she's serving me denim blue wig realness and I'm so here for it. Okay, now let's get on to like more interesting hairstyles. Like, um, let's see. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God, if I was at Coachella, this is what my hair would look like on one of the days. Obviously I'd have crazy hair. I would have so many wigs for Coachella. This, oh, the flowers in her hair are so chic. And like the blue and green, I love those tones of blue and green. They are so on trend and like, ugh, I love green hair so much. And this girl looks gorgeous. Like, who are you? Best daisy life. I think those are daisies. I'm not sure, I'm not really a flower queen, but like, I think they're daisies. Um, She looks amazing, I love it. Such a loo. Okay, now we have <laughs> Nikita Dragon. Okay, I don't like know Nikita at all, but, and I like live for her. Like I am so here for everything she does. I'm such a big Nikita fan. What's up Nikita? If you happen to see this, you're amazing. <laughs> but anyways, this hair was so epic. Oh my God, the dreadlocks, the faux dreadlocks with the pink roots. Who made this wig? Like, whoa, this color is stunning. Oh my God, I'm like all the different tones, the the highlighter, like glow in the dark tones. Oh, oh my God, somebody just give me a, a bag to breathe in right now because I'm hyperventilating. This is such a look. Oh my God, I'm so here for it. She looks so fresh and so beautiful and so amazing, but she like always does, so like whatever. And then she gave us like a short little haircut, a little pink moment, little pink bangs, little pink Bob, so cute, but like not as good, not nearly as epic as the dread, the faux dread. Like, she, why is she? I just want to be Nikita Dragon. She's so hot. Oh my god, it stresses me out. This is cool. I mean, whoa, that color is so pretty. I'm so here for it. And like that jewelry going down the middle is absolutely gorgeous. That's like a work of art on somebody's head. 
like the flower arrangement in the back of her head. I'm so here for a hair flower arrangement. We love it. We have edible arrangements and now we have hair arrangements and like I think it should definitely be a thing. <gasps> the lavender and like the blue and the gray. Such a look. So here's one that I not I, I, I really liked like all of them, but this one, not as here for it as the other ones. Like I don't really know if this is me like spilling any tea or giving shade today because like I pretty much like all the Coachella hair looks. Uh, I think they're so extra and fabulous. But this one, no, you know what? I like it. Maybe, I think it's the makeup that's throwing me off. I think she just like didn't, the makeup's just not going. Uh, but the hair, I mean, it's pretty cool. I wish her whole head was in like faux locks or something. <gasps> the daisies and the faux locks and like the waves. I think the waves should have been like a little messier or something. You know what I mean? Um, but no, it's a cute look. It's just like the makeup's not working, honey. Oh, this is another one I didn't like. Oh, oh God, this is so like 2017. And I'm sorry, I'm sure so many of you guys have done this look. I personally just am not a fan of it. Like the whole braided to like space bun type of vibe. It's tacky to me. It's tacky, I don't like it. I don't like it. And then like, yeah. It's not working for me personally. And the waves are a little messed up. Like they're not executed very well. But anyway, she still looks super fierce. I mean, she's beautiful. This was super cool. I don't even know how they did this. God, some, like I, the braiding, the, I, I, people are showing their braiding skills these days. Like I have seen a lot of braids in my life and this year has been epic for braiding and looks and oh my God, this is so sick. Like. What is this braid even called? This is so cool. It was like a fishtail braid, but then they like took hair from the front of her head and like combined it and then did this and that and then put like earrings in her hair and I'm so here for it. Yes, yes, yes. That's a yes from me. You're moving on. You to become America's next top model. Thank you. <laughs> what? These are cute. These are cute. They're like little best friendies. Little like, oof. Oh, again with the flowers, so cute. I'm still not here for the space ones. I'm not a big space one fan, but I love the way they did these like little bubble braids. I don't even know what you call them, but like super cute on her with the pink daisies and no, those aren't daisies. I don't know, pink flowers. I love, I kind of like the color pink. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Well, like, yeah, I do. This is great, but I do prefer the one on the left. Uh, the one on your right, the one on the right. So cute. Ooh, this was this hair color was so extra and pretty, like oil slick realness combined with like the prettiest colors I've ever seen. I want my hair to look like that. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. I could do this look on myself for sure, and I think I would love it. And I love the cacti in her hair. Those pins are so cute. The pin, the hairpin trend is only growing, you guys. So get on with it. Get your hairpins. Do something fun. They're awesome. I mean, just have fun with your hair. I think that's what we're all about these days. Is just like having a ton of fun with our hair and just doing crazy-ish. And I'm so here for it. This is pretty basic, but like these braids. Oh, girl, that color is so pretty. It's like a gray blue, and she is just fine. Like fine. Ooh. Girl, hi. Hi, Queen Aunt Mary, thank you, lady. Um, and I love it. No, it's super, super dope, and those braids look stunning. I love a, a waist-length braid. I'm always here for a braid. I love it so much. Um, what's her Romy, Victoria's Secret model. I actually cut her hair once. Um, but this is a super cool look. I mean, Romy's just so gorgeous. Like, how can you not like her? Uh, but I like the way he like weaved in the the string over her hair and then gave her kind of like waves in the back. It's super artsy. I'm a, I'm really here for it. Very structurally gorge. So here for it. So creative. I love the creativity at Coachella. I mean, it's Coachella is like so cliche, but honestly, I think people really sort of looks at Coachella and they look amazing. And I'm all, I'm always here for it. All right, let's look at this last one. Um, I'm more talking about the one on the right and left. Your left. Uh, or no, whatever. The one on the left here, um, that is the sickest pony ever. I want it. I want it. Like that leather wrapped around her ponytail is so fierce. 
and girl, that is a long pony. You know what make this look even cooler though? If she made her ponytail go down to like the floor and she just whipped that thing. That would have been even more epic, but I'm so here for this ponytail. Um, it's super cool and fresh and like she's giving me kind of Spartan vibes with her outfit and her hair and her makeup. Ooh, girl, you look fierce and I am froze. All right, you guys, there you have it. Those are some of my favorite Coachella looks and a couple that I wasn't too excited about, but overall, I think Coachella, everybody serves such looks at Coachella and I'm obsessed. Like, I definitely need to go next year and I need to pull out some sick wigs on myself. <laughs> you guys, I would have to start prepping for Coachella now and have just like the most dope wigs and like, ooh, girl, I have so many ideas. It's gonna be amazing. And today's Instagram shout out goes to Morgan. This is Morgan's Instagram and this is what she looks like, looking fierce. Morgan says, should I stick with blonde or try a different color? Um, okay, basically I'm so here for your blonde hair. I love your haircut so much. Probably because it's the same haircut that I have and the same color, but that's okay. <laughs> We literally have the same hair. Um, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, but if you want to change it at all, I think you should just do like a temporary blue hair color or pink or purple or just something like really fun. I think you have a great skin tone for any cool color. So pinks, purples, blues, even greens I would look stunning on you. And I think you have the face to pull it off and you wear the makeup for it. And I think it would just be such a look. But I love the blonde hair. I definitely think you should keep it for now. And then maybe if you get bored, change it, do pink, blue, purple, whatever. Uh, so I hope that helps you out more again. You look fierce. All right, you guys, so that's all for today. Don't forget to check out my merchandise at fanjoy.co slash brad and live your extra life with me. I have a new Babe Squad hoodie up. It's all sparkly and fresh and so cool. And it has a crown on the hood. It's so when you put the hood on, you have a crown on and it's so cute. I love it so much. And you guys have been loving it. It's been selling like crazy and I appreciate it. Thank you so, so much if you guys bought one. I appreciate your support always. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.